Hello, in this session I will talk about configuring Hadoop virtual machine. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. We are following this roadmap to install Hadoop on personal computer. We have completed step 4. We have downloaded and installed VirtualBox software. We have downloaded the Hadoop appliance for VirtualBox and we have imported that appliance into the VirtualBox software. So now we have a virtual machine available. And before starting the virtual machine, we're going to make some configuration changes. Or at least we will review the configuration. Launch the VirtualBox software if it's not already up and running. Now we can go into the properties. Just click on that virtual machine once. Do, do not double click. It's going to start. And then click on the settings. Actually, the virtual machine is already selected because there's only one virtual machine. So you can directly click on the settings. And here you can see operating system is Linux Red Hat and if you go in the systems you can see it is going to use 2 gigabyte of RAM I have 4 so half is gonna go to the virtual machine rest of the half is available to the host system but if you have 3 then it's still this is going to work just fine only one is going to be available to the host system but if you have 2 gigabyte of RAM then you need to reduce this to half you need to say Okay, one gigabyte will go to the virtual machine. Remember, half is 1024 of 2048. So one gigabyte is 1024 megabytes. Okay, it's always be best to use the multiples of 1024. There are a few bugs in virtual box that comes up if you do not use multiples of 1024. Okay, so this is the number you're going to put if you have in total two gigabyte of RAM and uh, so I'm going to change it back to 2048. Okay, so this is for the RAM. Now we need to go to the processor, which is the second tab under the system section. Here, system will try to use two cores. So if you have quad core CPU, then two is fine. If you have dual core, then you need to change this to one. It might work with two as well, but uh, one would be better if you have one CPU with without any cores just put one here I'm gonna stick with one keep in mind this is a virtual machine and system will try to dedicate hardware resources to virtual machine based on these settings now we go to the network under network you're gonna see four tabs at the top adapter one two three four so for adapter one we need to change this to host only adapter okay so bridge would be if you have a router then this virtual machine will get a separate unique IP address just like any other machine but we don't want to go into that complication we just want this virtual machine to get one IP and we want this virtual machine to be visible from the host computer which is actually the physical computer on which the virtual box is running so that's why we have selected host only but if you want something fancy you can go with bridged then the virtual machine will get a unique IP address from the router to which your physical computer is connected to and both your physical computer and the virtual computer will see each other as two different computers on the network okay so host only for us and adapter 2 we're gonna change to NAT and 3 and 4 not test so let's go back to adapter 1 and everything else is fine click on OK to understand the difference between NET bridged and host only there's a video that I have posted so you can look into that for details now this virtual machine is ready to be started